you want to close more deals, change more lives, and ultimately stack more cash inside of your business, let me show you the simplest sales formula that you have ever seen. And this is what has helped us here at Gym Launch scale to over $100 million over the last six years and what our clients have used to sell over $500 million. Yes, half a billion dollars worth of fitness contracts using this simple formula that we call the closer formula. My name is Kay Lohan. I'm the CEO of Gym Launch and Prestige Labs. Let me walk you through this real quick. And also, if you want access to this and more, we have a free download of frameworks just like this. There's 29 other ones in this document that you can download for free by clicking the link in the description down below. Trade your email for this. We'll send it over. Promise we won't spam you. Okay, so let's dive into this. The closer formula. What is it? It's a simple formula that we use to basically write any kind of sales script. It has to follow this. Alex Hormozzi created this. It's super simple. It's called Closer. And you think about closing deals, giving it to a closer. It helps kind of remind us all of the elements elements that we need to include in the um, complete pitch. Okay, so let's start one by one. So C stands for clarify. We need to clarify why they walked in the door that day to your facility or showed up on a call. You have to figure out what brought them in. Ultimately, what you're trying to do here is establish a gap between where they are at this moment and where they want to be when they reach their goal. So you're just asking questions to find out the ultimate problem that they're struggling with. If you ask, why did you come in today? They might say, I want to lose weight. That's good. It's what you want to hear, right? And if they say something like, well, I saw your promotion. I'm here for the free month then you obviously need to dig a little bit deeper. And even if they want to lose weight, you need to dig deeper, right? Like how much do you want to do? Ultimately though, you just need to learn why are they coming in and ultimately be able to find out exactly if you can help them or not. Now, if you have someone that comes in in the clarify stage, I want to say this, and this is kind of important. If you did that and someone's like, I saw the promotion, I just want to figure, I want to come in for a free month or I want to come in for the free challenge or I want to come in for the free seven day pass. Simple question just as a rebuttal is, why do you want a free month? Okay, they might be so focused on the promotion that they say something like, it sounds like a good deal and I'm short on money right now. And you can keep asking why until you get to the actual pain point. So you can get the pain point here of why they showed up. The next one is L is label, right? So this is labeling, labeling their problem. You want to state it out loud. What is their problem? So your goal is to lose weight, right? Just get them to acknowledge it so that you understand them correctly. And it's great, right? It's going to create more rapport because you're listening to them. The next one is overview. So this one is all about overviewing their past pain and experiences. Okay. So this is where you really get into digging into more questions. You really need to wade into it and really pull out and unpack all the problems that they have. So you're trying to figure out what have they done in the past to try to reach their goal? Why hasn't it worked? Why has it? And you really just want to be able to help them solve their problem by figuring out what they've done so far. Like questions might be as simple as what have you tried so far? Maybe they're like, well, I tried Jenny Craig. Okay. How did that work for you? I lost 30 pounds. Ah, oh, that's great. Okay. So why are you here? Well, I gained it all back. Got it. So you're trying to lose weight permanently. Is that right? And they're going to be like, yes, exactly. Okay. Why do you think the weight loss didn't stick? Why didn't it last? And they're going to be like, I just couldn't stick with it. Right. It was too hard of a plan. Or they might give you another reason why. Okay. So it wasn't a sustainable plan. Let's say if they use that, was it possible because you didn't have X, Y, and Z? And this is where you can insert the things inside of your program to help solidify it. And they're going to be like, yeah, I think so. Right. Is it because you didn't have a consistent workout routine and you didn't have someone reaching out to you every single day to make sure you're staying on track? They'd probably be like, yeah, it's probably why? Cool. Or was the diet so restrictive that you were unable to maintain it long term and immediately didn't want to follow it? Yep, that'd be another reason, right? So you got all these. And once you've teased out all their issues, now you have everything you need to sell them. This is really key. Don't move on to this unless you figured out the true pain of what's going on. The S is where it's really important, where most people mess up. Sell the vacation. There's an old saying in sales, which is sell the vacation, not the plane ride. This is really important, right? So think about it this way. And this is the best way. I learned this from Alex. This is the easiest way to communicate this is when people are planning a trip to Hawaii, for example, you don't want to make them think about the 12 hours that they're going to spend in a cramped airplane, right? Sitting there and you're just like huddled up. You got the middle seat. You don't want to think about that. You don't want to think about how it's going to take them an hour to get to the actual airport, how they're going to have to wait an hour in line as they go through security, how they're going to check their bags, then wait once they get to the gate to board. Then they're going to be in a line to board. Then they're going to sit down and find their seat. They're going to be sitting next to somebody else who smells and brought food on the plane. Then it's going to take six hours to get to Hawaii. Oh, and then they have a connecting flight, which has two hour layover in San Francisco before they actually go. Then they get there then they have to take a bus. No one wants to think about that. All they want to think about is sitting on the beach, drinking a Mai Tai or a pina colada, watching the sunset. That's all they want to think about. So you need to walk through that. You want them imagining instead of the plane flight, relaxing in the sun on a beautiful beach. Sell them the vision of what they'll look like and how they'll feel when they do reach their goals. That's what you're looking for. So for example, in the above example, when you're talking about like 
um, Jenny Craig. So it's like awesome. So when you did Jenny Craig, you realized that you weren't really exercising, right? And you didn't want to learn how to make the food because you were getting pre-prepared plants. Is that correct? I'm like, yeah. Okay. Well, do you have an accountability coach? And they're like, yes, I did. Okay. And it was really valuable for me. Awesome. So now the next piece that we're going to get into is we would be selling the vacation. So it's affirming the things that they liked about anything that's similar with that would be similar to your program that they had before in the past. Those things are valuable to them. So you can take those. And if you offer them, that's great. It attaches that value to them. And so they immediately begin to be like, cool, no, this will work for me. And then you can identify the key points and the differences between what they did before and what you offer now. So an example is, okay, so um, you valued the accountability coach, which is awesome, right? So we have an accountability coach too, but ours is better because of X, Y, and Z. Also, we're gonna show you how to make the food instead of just charging more, you more money and sending you boxed foods. That way you can have results for life. Does that make sense? And I'd be like, yes, it sounds great. Since you just solved one of their stated problems that the weight loss isn't sustainable. So you just solved that. So now when they said that they couldn't sustain it, this is done now. You're gonna teach them how to cook their own food. You're gonna give them the freedom within meal plans and all this stuff to be able to sustain this long-term. So you always wanna do it. But you can keep selling this for every single problem and pain point. Another reason you couldn't keep the weight off is that you weren't working out, right? Your metabolism slowed down because your weight loss was is mostly muscle. We'll train you to build muscle during this period of time. So you boost your metabolism. That'd be great. Cool. You lose weight and your metabolism goes up because you have more muscle. Sound awesome? Great. So you can burn fat while you rest. Is that cool with you? That sounds awesome, right? So that's it. Just selling the vacation, making sure you're giving them what they really want. I guess the idea is really give them what they need wrapped in what they want. So the outside is just doing that. Once they get in your program, you're going to help them work through every single possibility and every single procedure that you have to be able to get them those amazing results. But people don't want to know. They know that working out is hard. They they know that following a nutrition plan is hard, okay? Once you sell them the vacation, E is for explain away their concerns, right? So every potential customer will have one of three main objections, right? Or obstacles between them and the sales decision. They may have a variety of circumstances, right? But they will all center around either stalling, money concerns, or they're not the decision maker. So I need more time, I don't have enough money, or I need to talk to my spouse or my partner. Those are all basically, those are the three primary objections, right? Your job at this point during the sales process is to address each obstacle one by one until they're ready to buy. Okay? Okay. And then we have other stuff in regards to objection overcomes and videos and all this stuff that we walk through. And it's also included in this download R, the last piece is reinforce their decision. So the last thing left in this that you just always have in a sales script for you or your team is to reinforce the decision. This is when you begin to basically what we call wow your clients. And it's a wow process and fulfillment. You need to do this as soon as possible. It's so important. Don't wait a week before you give them a t-shirt or a piece of swag. Give it to them as soon as they sign up for their membership. As soon as they hand you money, you should give them something to walk away with. You should do a nice handwritten note from the team, or you could have the owner. If you're not, if you're the owner and your team sells, you could send them a video welcoming them to your community, letting you know how excited you are, all this stuff. And if you do this, not only are they going to be reinforced that they made a good decision, they're probably going to stay longer and they're most likely going to refer more people, which ultimately helps you close more people. Ultimately, what's cool about this is that, and this is what we use with a lot of our clients that struggle with scripts is you don't need a script, just follow this formula. And if you follow these steps, you will close more people and ultimately give you and your team the opportunity to change more lives. Again, if you like stuff like this, hit that subscribe button, hit the like, drop a comment. I appreciate your time and attention. And as always, if you want more access to this, click the link down in the description. You can get this for free just by trading your email. And again, I promise I won't spam you. I'll see you on the next video.